what are you up to? Well, random bully that is just randomly... In my room, I am making a YouTube video! Right, you're doing a YouTube video. Are uh, those things that nerds with no friends, no job, no future plan to do for the rest of their lives. Is that, is that right? Mmm, yep. That's the one. Go like a that. Not exactly, you fucking nerd. With YouTube, yourself can make original and amazing content for the likes of the eyes of millions of people to see. What's that? You don't have money, equipment, or any talent whatsoever? <laughs> Mo money, no problem, my spicy little spick. Just slap on some gameplay footage, steal a copyrighted character, and call someone a pedophile for talking to 13 year old girls on the internet. And let's not forget to make the most clickbaitiest thumbnails and titles that you can ever think of, taking inspiration from the tabloids, of course, and oversaturate yourself with one topic. I just want to stand out in the crowd and be known by my amazing original content. <laughs> Uh, YouTube search system has pretty much made it obsolete for you to put effort into any art you want to be seen by millions of people. That's unless he puts it on a what the fuck did I just watch compilation fail edition in which you'll get a thousand times more views than your original content. So what's the point of trying, right? Unless you have friends in high places that'll pick you up when you need that help. Another way to become buddy-buddy with YouTube's fucked up system is to make content for kids. This can vary from Five Nights at Freddy's, Minecraft, and toy review channels. Make sure to use everyone's favorite Disney characters and everyone's favorite emojis to keep those brain dead little shits to wait and watch through the ads about Netflix series that contain rape and violence. Remember, the key to YouTube is to be the most profitable video out there. The more ads you put on the video, the more YouTube's gonna push you in front of the line of everyone else. YouTube and morals go as well together as new porn, porn, and feces. At first, you think it's fucked up, but with enough practice and enough effort, it's still messed up to think that your morality will stand on this platform. You see, with YouTube comes great manipulation, and with that comes great corruption to see how far someone will go to be viral. Now, what this means is that YouTubers from a certain community will wait till you are great and successful before they critique your every little move, forcing their fan base onto you. YouTube has a section on every video called the comment section. Now this is where you get to comment on the video and maybe give some solid feedback or maybe just a review on the actual video. But in reality, it's a hellhole. Do not go there. Do not attempt to look at it. Don't type it. Don't give anything. Just don't. It's a no-no place. It's a no. Don't do it. And you see this magnificent red button here followed by the large number. Now some people use this number to make their points more valid in which you just look like a pretentious cunt. This place seems like a hellhole. Why does anyone want to do this anymore? Money on my motherfucking mind. Cut off your guts at the same time. Uh, well, once in a while you'll come across a treasure. A diamond in the rough, if you will. Now, these people, as artists, they make valid points and mind-bending pieces of amazement. Things that made YouTube so overpopulated like it is today. Things that mainstream media wish they could begin to understand how one person can do a job of 50. To this one population, you'll see that they just enjoy doing this and do their best to outdo themselves with every and each video they produce be it for a job or not. You yourself have the ability to make this happen if you so dream it to. With enough, you'll finally be recognized by your amazing talents and you can easily just be seen by the greater minds and work alongside with them and grow as a content creator. So why not just go out there and make us all proud, son? Go forth and fly. Make what you want to make. Hey guys, welcome to my Roblox Let's Play. Today we're playing role playing as Freddy Fazbender from the from the Five Nights at Futurama. Haha. 